Welcome in, guys. I've got a unique video for you today. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions concerning when to buy players, when to buy Team of the Weeks in particular. And today I'm going to be talking about buying meta players and I'm going to be talking about buying uh, like investment type players. And my name is Johnny, guys. I've been doing this for a long time. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, uh, make sure you guys stick around and check out some other stuff. I have a daily content post where I talk about my daily investments and what I'd be trading on daily. Now, this is the team of the week right now. And if you're concerned in thinking about buying a player like BBD or DeJong, I'm going to break that down for you. So actually, I'm going to pull up a new tab on this one. So BBD's price point right now is 680,000 coins, which is very heavy. And it's only going up. Oh, wait. It's going down, right? So Footbin isn't always the greatest source when it comes to brand new cards being released. I wanted to make, sh I wanted to show you guys that, to show you that don't always put all your trust into the system because the system it takes several days for it to update before it starts to turn and show you daily average values. And so what I did instead is I pulled up and I came back and I went, okay, let's go to the last team of the week. And we're going to pick out Conte here. I have Conte ready for us. And I'm going to kind of show you where this looks, what this looks like right after one week of trading. This is where we are right now with the VVD. And then boom, 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 it drops. And so we're about like right here probably. Oh, look at that. About the same, about the same price point as Conte. And so guys, this is typically the curve when it comes to buying meta players is the first couple days it goes up and then it goes down so traders sometimes do this to to take an initial bull run but uh honestly this is more risk than anything and this can happen in a matter of either minutes or it could be in hours uh sometimes cards stay a little bit higher and they end up going extinct for a little bit and then they drop right once the price point opens up and that's because people uh unexperienced traders they see it extinct and they think it's going to go up and ends up just being a big sell-off but anyways this is your standard graph after about a week and so now i'm going to show you what it looks like with like a steven bird voice um if i said that right and it's a little bit of the similar but the, what i'm trying to show you here is now it hasn't even updated now these guys are 84s if you guys have been following my daily content trading series you would know that uh any 84 that you can pick up for like 11k is a steal right now in my book and this is why i say right here boom 11k you can always make a return that's i mean a given but guys this is what it looks like after about a week of investing okay and so when when you want to come in and, and then we, we look into like a marquinhos the first week of him in being invested this is where that's when he goes out of packs this is typically what happens guys two days prior on monday end of sunday sunday night monday tuesday are the three best days to buy that is consistent. The reason why is always like this. And then you get the early trade investors that think about buying and then the demand starts to dwindle or go up. Therefore, that's where that initial bull is right there. And then it kind of flatlines and slowly goes up as players pick them up. And then we get a sell off because of, uh, I, I don't remember what reason or purpose, but there uh, was a Black Friday coming up. That was the pre-crash here. Or, and then Black Friday right here. So uh, that's that's essentially what dropped that demand. And so guys, that is that shows you another consistency after several weeks. This is what it looks like after several weeks. And then like a, again, an investment period. This is what it looks like as an investment. 84, still about the same price. And the reason why is guys, it has to stay concurrent with all the other 84s because of SBC, demand, and everything going on with demand. And so, if we come back to basically our team of the week and we think, oh, you know, BBD, when is the best time to buy? Well, right now, he was released on Wednesday. It is now Thursday. Friday is going to be an SB or it's going to be a promotion. So it's going to have a drop, big time drop tomorrow. If you can snipe them tomorrow, that's probably where you're going to find it. But if you actually go and we look at a player like Conte, something around 550, anything around 550 is probably going to be a very good deal if you can pick them up tomorrow and then try to flip them from there. Now, I'd be waiting until Monday if you're looking to buy a card like this, but that's my take, guys. And 
It's a, it's a very simple concept, but basically just wait until Monday whenever a card releases. Wait about four out of the seven days that the card is released. And the reason why is there's high pack supply. And so when there's high pack supply, lower pricing. And then once uh, once you get to that Monday then or Tuesday, what happens is people start realizing that they're going out of packs. They want to say, hey, I need to buy this guy because his pack's so low. There's the pack high. Er, his supply is so high. His price is so low. And so then they buy. There goes the demand. So that's all I have for you guys today. Check out my daily video if you guys want to keep current with daily content. And I throw in trading tips. I throw in new content all the time. New little stuff like this. This is just a side video that I felt like doing because I had a moment and I had an idea. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.